my name is Nick and welcome to another episode of the side quest today's beer is called Guam Bold by the Guam Brewery now Guam Bold is a cream ale it is 4.2% ABV with 12 IBUs and is brewed right here on Guam by the Guam Brewery I did just do a cream ale it was the Island Colada I think coconut and pineapple cream ale but this one has no other adjuncts added no fruit or anything so this is gonna be nice and um, I guess baseline cream ale, uh, you should say. Uh, now, cream ales are number two on my styles list, so I'm hoping that this lives up to the style hype, at least my style hype. And the Guam Brewery only has, I think, two main main beers, like the ones that I always see on the shelf. It's this one and the Island IPA, which is an IPA. And then they put out like um, collabs and specialty stuff like the Manjita, the Always Roasted. And I'm gonna do, I think my next beer is gonna be the Pineapple Berliner that they just put out not too long ago. So I'm expecting a lot of good things coming out of the Guam Brewery. And hopefully I can, you know, get around to drinking everything. But I'm doing uh, the next few beers for local stuff because, uh, like I've said before, support your local brewery. And, you know, I'm, I just hope that the Guam Brewery and even the other ones, uh, other local craft breweries like Carabao, like keep putting out great stuff uh, because I can't, I love seeing growth uh, here on Guam. So, I'm very excited to open this up and try it out. So let's open it up and I'll be right back after the pour. Now that the pour is done, let's take a look at this beer. So I, in the initial pour, there was a, a little bit of carbonation, not a lot, maybe half an inch, half a finger's worth, uh, actually. Um, there's still bubbles coming up, so I'm not really worried about the carbonation in this beer. Uh, the color, it is like a pale, a pale yellow when I hold it up to the light, sort of like maybe a two or three SRM, and it is opaque, and I can't see through it at all. And, well, at least there's no particles in it, so maybe it's just not a filtered beer. But um, let's get a nose on it. I am getting like a, a light, um, a light malty aroma coming off of it. Also a light, a light hop, hoppiness coming off of it. Um, I know the IBUs on this beer was like 12, so it's not gonna be a super strong uh, hop centered beer. Um, and I can just basically tell by the smell. Uh, but it does smell um, pretty interesting, like nothing crazy and I guess I just can't wait to drink it, so cheers. Not bad. Um, nothing was jumping out to me as crazy. It wasn't crazy good and it wasn't crazy bad. It was sort of in that middle, which is fine for beer. Like, uh, coming into this beer, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was just expecting like no mild to no bitterness and uh, a nice malty presence. And this beer kind of delivered. Uh, maltiness is a little bit light. It wasn't as strong as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's like a more of a multi, slight multi finish. Uh, bitterness is there. It's not strong and it's definitely light and kind of just goes away on like the second or third sip. So not too bad. Mouth feels great. Nah, it's thin, medium thin, I guess. Nothing thick, uh, goes down really easy. And like the taste is very like refreshing, light, crisp. So overall, I think they nailed it. Um, I'm usually used to drinking more of like a fruited cream ale, something with uh, more interesting adjuncts and uh, sometimes it's just too much. Like if you keep drinking like crazy pastry stouts or even like super sour kettle sours or berliners, like sometimes you just want to reset. And um, I think I'll be like stocking at least a six pack of this just for those days. Um, if you're looking for like a light lager um, and usually if you, you reach for like a Budweiser or a Miller or a Coors, uh, try to give this a, a try. It's it's definitely more complex than those beers, uh, but it isn't uh, so crazy that it's gonna overwhelm you. Like there's some days where I just want to like drink a, a regular beer and you know not have to really think about it. And this is gonna be one of those. Uh, 
I know that they just kind of like Guam Brewery hired a new a new head brewer and I don't remember I didn't try the old Guam Gold recipe but I heard it wasn't it was okay it wasn't anything special uh, but I've tried a few cream ales already and this one is, is a good baseline though. but like I said I wasn't looking to be blown away I was just kind of looking for a good beer and this kind of hits all the marks that I would want and it's something that I definitely like keep uh, in my fridge and I'm happy like I can get this year around uh, like I said uh, uh, Guam Gold Cream Ale and uh, I think the Island IPA are the two um, styles that are, I guess, year round. Like those are the ones that are the mainstays uh, for the brewery. That being said, I'm kind of looking forward to everything Guam Brewery is putting out. They're making great collabs and innovating for uh, Guam, and I am really happy to see where the island is going as far as craft beer is concerned. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Guam Gold is a good cream ale.